Hey everybody, Miles G here. So someone asked me the other day, Dear Miles, I'm going to high school next year and I was wondering if you could do a video giving tips and advice about high school. Sure! Now before I get started, this advice is purely based on my experience in high school, so if you have anything you feel like you need to add, then please do so in the comments or make a video response. Now let's start. Number one, beware of people who have more than one faith. There is two-faced people, and then there is three-faced people. Two-faced people will act like they're friends with you and then go behind your back and talk mess. Three-faced people will try to become your friend again after you found out that they was two-faced in the first place. Mm-mm. We don't play that. Of course these faces will not present themselves immediately, but girl, you will find out. You will. Number two, do not become romantically hopeless or desperate. Neither will benefit you. Do not go out with someone because you feel like you are worthless without a man or a woman. Mm -mm, that ain't the case. Girl, don't trip. You worth a lot. What's not worth it is dragging your significant other's feelings through them because of your insecurities. You better check that. And do not go out with someone because you feel obligated to. That's just like if I asked somebody to cut my hair and they said yes, even though they don't even know how to cut hair. So naturally, they gonna fuck up my hair. And that's what you gonna do to their feelings. You wanna fuck up their feelings? No? I hope not, you sadistic ass bitch. Number three, don't be too clingy. Having someone care about you is nice, but having someone's head shoved up your ass is painful as fuck. Give people their bubble space. Unless cued to pop the bubble, don't. Number four, don't touch other people's food. For some strange reason, the kids at my school thought it was cute to take my fries and drink my juice, even though they just had lunch. Do I know where your hands have been, who they have been in? No. Get your fat ass up and get your own damn play. And the only time when it is okay to touch someone else's food is if they are your friend and you ask first. I don't mess around with my food. Number five, drugs. Depending on where you live, I lived in Las Vegas at the time, there will be an abundance of drugs and people who are experimenting with them. I do not care what anyone says, do not fuck with meth or pills. Don't do it. Just don't. Stay away. Stay far away. I don't know about any other drugs because, you know, I haven't really done any. So, you know, if you have anything else to add down there in the comments about what they should stay away from them, please, God, help me do so. Y'all don't want none of that. Y'all, you don't want to go down that road. You don't. Mm -mm. Number six, try to make friends. Just remember, try to keep an open mind. If they're really your friends, they will aid you in your time of need without you having to ask, and you will do the same. Number seven, be yourself. This is guaranteed to wipe out 95% of the people that you don't want in your life. Fail proof. And try to maintain having one face. Number eight, six. Be abstinent. But we all know most y'all ain't gonna do that. So please use protection. Condoms, birth control, the works. Like you need to use that so that way you don't be catching anything cause bitches be catching shit and they don't know they have it and then they give it a girl. You don't want it. And talk to your parents about this kind of stuff. I am not your mama, I am not your daddy cause they gonna ask you eventually, they will. Number nine, bullies, do not. Give them the time of day. That means if you arguing, walk past them. Like, you don't need to be messing around with that. Go somewhere with your, why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know. Don't mess with that. Finally, number 10. Do not fuck around your freshman, sophomore, and junior years. Do your work in school, all that good stuff in your freshman, sophomore, junior years, even your senior years. You can slack off a little bit in your senior years because they have this thing called senioritis and that's when you get really slow, but you don't want to be having that for all the rest of the year. So you just want to make sure you get freshman, sophomore, junior years, get them out of the way, girl, get them past them classes, girl. So that way, when your senior year comes, you can focus on your senior trip, your prom, and your graduation, because you're going to have to be spending loads of money and time into that, because and your yearbooks, too, because them's expensive. Yeah, there's going to be a lot going on your senior year. I'm just telling you that now, so that way you're ready in your freshman year. And don't be fucking around with freshmen. I know y'all, y'all, we in high school, we adults now, oh my god, raise the roof, texting in class, fuck the police, fuck the teacher. No, don't do that. And the last piece of advice I have for you guys out there is just use your common sense. Just use your common knowledge to navigate you through high school. Believe me, it works. It'll get you out alive and in one piece with amazing friends, I might add. So just don't be stupid. Get to know yourself a little better before you start fucking around with whomever. And keep your wits about you, girl because you gonna need them. So yeah, I hope you guys like my advice and if you have anything to add, like I said in the beginning of the video, you can just comment down below. So yeah, that's it for me, Miles G. I'll talk to you guys all later.
Bye. Why you so obsessed with me? Bully, I wanna know. Why you keep trying to hit on me? Boy, you wanna go. Why you so obsessed with me? Bow, 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 bow. Oh, that's right, I beat your ass, bitch. Get out my face. Subscribe!